بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Chapter 12 Marketing Channels Delivering Customer Value Here we are speaking about where we should offer our product for sure where we offer our product where our target customer Distribution it's a uh, Simply a supply chain and the value delivery network. Producing a, a product or a service and make it uh, available for buyers require a building relationship not just with customer but also with a key suppliers and resellers in the company's supply chain. Actually, this supply chain consists of uh, two uh, type of uh, partners. It's upstream partners and downstream partners. Upstream partners include raw material suppliers, components, parts, information, finance, and expertise to create a product or service. And downstream partner includes a marketing channel or distribution channel that look towards the customer. It's two type of chain. Supply chain, make and sell. View includes the firm's through materials, productive inputs, and factory capacity, and demand the chain sense and respond. View suggests that planning starts with the, the need of the target customer and the firm responds to these needs by organizing a chain of resources and activities with the goal of creating customer value. Actually, we are speaking about value delivery network. Value delivery network, it's a firm, suppliers, distributors, and automatic customer who partner with each other to improve the performance of the entire system. How channel members add value? Actually, intermediates or channel members offer producer greater efficiency in making goods available to target market through their contacts, experiences, specialization, and skill of operations. Intermediaries usually offer the firm on the more than it can achieve on its own. From economic of skill or from economic view, intermediaries transform the assortment of products into or wanted by consumers. Channel members add value by bridging major time, base, and fulfill the gaps that separate goods and services from those who would use them. What is the main function of a channel member? What is a channel member's function? Information, promotion, contact, matching, negotiation, physical distribution, financing, and risk taking. Information, gathering and distributing, marketing, research, and intelligent information about actors and forces in the marketing environment needed for planning and adding exchange. Promotion, developing and spreading persuasive communication about an offer. Contact, finding and communicating with prospective buyers. Matching, shaping and fitting the offer to the buyer's need, including activities such as manufacturing, grading, uh, assembling, and the packaging. 
negotiation, reaching an uh, agreement on the price and the other term of the offer so that ownership can be transferred. Physical distribution, transporting and storing goods, financing, acquiring and using funds to cover the costs of stranded work and the final risk taking, assuming the risk of carrying out the channel work. This is the number of contacts without a distributor, a number of contacts with distributor for sure, with distributor, it's a more simple, it's a more simple connection and the limited number of relationships. A number of channel levels. Companies can design their distribution channels to make products and services available to consumers in different ways. Each layer of marketing intermediaries that perform some work in bridging the product and its ownership closer to final buyers is a channel level. And because both the producer and final consumer perform some work, they are part of every channel. This is a number of channel levels. Now we will focus on the consumer marketing channels as a traditional shape or a traditional way producer or seller, retailer to consumer. A shorter way, it's producer, retailer, it's the consumer, and direct way, it's producer uh, to consumer. It depends on how much our uh, the company try to control the distribution process. Uh, it depends on a product type uh, and uh, a distribution strategy, intensive or selective or executive distribution strategy. A channel level is each layer of marketing intermediates. The number of intermediary levels indicates the length of the of a channel. A direct marketing channel has no intermediary levels the company sells directly to consumers. An indirect channel contains one or more intermediates. Connected by types of fields, there are, uh, uh, there are uh, five types of fields. Physical flow of a product, flow of ownership, payment flow, information and promotion flow. To design a channel, you should take a, a decision. A channel design decision. How to design a distribution, um, a distribution channel. First, we should analyze consumer need. Marketing channels are part of the overall customer value delivery network. Each uh, channel member uh, and uh, level adds value for the customer. So, so designing the marketing channel starts with finding out what target consumer want from the channel. Find out what target consumer want from the channel, what segment to serve, best channel to use, minimizing the cost of meeting consumer service requirements. Second step, setting a channel objectives. Companies should state their marketing a channel objective in terms of the targeted levels of consumer services. 
Usually, a company can identify different segments wanting different level of service. The company should decide which segment to serve and the best channel it use in each case. Targeted levels of consumer services a balanced consumer needs not only against the visibility and cost of meeting this need, but also against customer price preferences. And third step, identify major alternative. When a company has defined its channel objective, it's, uh, it should uh, next identify its major channel alternative in terms of types of intermediaries, number of marketing intermediaries, and the responsibility of the channel members. The alternative is intensive distribution <clears throat> for a convenience product, selective distribution for a shopping products, executive distribution for a speciality and the actually and the prestigious products. Intensive distribution, stocking the product in as uh, many outlets as possible. Executive distribution, limited the number of intermediaries handling their products. Selective distribution, this is the use of, of more than one but fewer than all of the intermediaries who are willing to carry a company's products. And finally, uh, we should evaluate the major alternative based on economic criteria, control and adaptive criteria. This is a way to design a distribution channel. Thank you, my student, and see you in the next chapter in China.